Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record the audio from any app on your Mac using Piezo. Now, Piezo is an app that can isolate any application's audio and then record it so you could use it to record songs from SoundCloud, Pandora, Spotify, or anything like that without having a subscription. Now, this also works for other apps like Skype, so you can record conversations in that if you don't want to just use it to record music. Now there is two versions of this app. There is a free version that will give you 10 minutes of clear recording and then after that 10 minutes a noise layer will be added to that so it won't be clear. And then there's a paid version that you could buy for $19 if you end up liking the application and need to use it for more than 10 minutes. Now it isn't hosted on the Mac App Store so we'll have to download a zip. The link to that can be found in the full guide over at Gadget Hack so be sure to download that. And after the zip downloads go ahead and extract it. Once it is extracted drag and drop the app to your applications folder and then open it up. Now that Piezo is open, select your app that you want to record by bringing down the drop down menu and selecting one of your open apps. In this case, I'm going to be recording Google Chrome. And then if you have it open, you will need to quit and relaunch it. So go ahead and select that option. All right, now that Chrome is back open, you will see here that I have a SoundCloud page brought up. And once I hit the record button on Piezo, It'll start recording and then I hit play. And then once the song starts playing in the background, Piezo will go ahead and record it. You can see here that the levels are changing, so that is recording audio. And then once you, the song is finished, you, you hit the record button again and it will stop. In order to locate the file that you had just created with the through Piezo, all you have to do is hit the magnifying glass and it'll bring up that recording right there. Now most likely you won't be able to get the recording to match up perfectly with the song so you will need it to edit the recording. The easy way to do that in my opinion is by using iTunes. So if you have the recording open up in iTunes just right click the audio file, hit get info. Then go to the options menu and you can see here that you have the start and stop time that you can edit. So just edit that to the correct times by looking at the track through iTunes and then match up the seconds perfectly and then once you do that hit OK. Now if you want to have that recording save it as a new file so that you don't have to worry about setting the options every time you import it to a different program all you have to do is hit create AAC version and then you'll be able to have a standalone file with the correct time. Alright guys that's do it for this video be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks and like always be sure to like comment and subscribe. Have a good one guys.